In the next part of the lecture, we are going to see a very important property of power series, term by term differentiation. So basically it tells us that if we have a power series and if we um, denote the sum of the power series as some function f of x, f of x, so let me change the color. Uh, then in order to find the derivative of the function f of x, uh, what we should do, we should just uh, differentiate the terms of my power series term by term by term, right? So this is, uh, so this is going to be f prime of x. Right, um, and we, we can actually differentiate it two times, three times, or whatever. So as many times as, as you want. So a power series is essentially a function represented by a power series is differentiable infinitely many times inside this interval of um, convergence. On the endpoints of the interval of convergence, we don't know. So it only works inside the interval. So at the endpoints, it only works if the power series converges. But sometimes it is possible that the power series for f converges at the endpoints, but for f prime does not. So in, in that case, you know, it only works inside the interval of convergence. So let me uh, explain why this, this is so important. So I will give you a kind of a simple example of when the, this is important. So if, say, for example, if our function f of x is given as the, this power series as the sum, well, you, you, you just saw it, x to the n divided by n factorial. Right, so how do we find the derivative of the, this function? Even though we cannot explicitly represent the, the, this function uh, in closed form, right? So, now, in this case, we can represent it in closed form and we will a little bit later, but what if we cannot even express it in, in closed form? We still can find f prime of x by simply differentiating all the terms of our power series with respect to x. So it's d over dx. In that case, we should chop off the constant term because its derivative is just zero. So it's one plus the sum from one to infinity x to the n over n factorial, right? So the derivative of the constant is zero. So this is going to be just the sum from uh, one to infinity. Now let's differentiate x to the n. So it's going to be n times x raised to the power n minus one divided by n factorial. All right, uh, now, so let me do it here. So n divided by n factorial. What is it? So this is n divided by one times two times three and so on times n minus one times n so n cancels out so the remaining part is just one over n minus one factorial right okay so this is really uh, x raised to the power n minus one divided by n minus one factorial But what is this? When n is one, we get x to the zero divided by zero factorial, which is one. Plus when n is two, we get x to the power one divided by one factorial. Plus when n is three, we get x squared divided by two factorial plus x. When n is four, we get x cubed divided by three factorial and so on, right? So every time we actually um, take x raised to some power divided by the same number of factorial, right? So, and notice that this is actually the same as the original function f of x, right? So my point being is that in this example, even if I didn't know what f, uh, what my function f uh, was, I would still be able to figure out that f prime of x equals f of x using the this trick. And this is some sometimes a very, very useful information because this is a differential equation on f of x. And 
um, as you will soon see, uh, differential equations very often um, appear in physics and in engineering, and sometimes it is convenient to solve them via power series or vice versa. So sometimes uh, it is convenient to represent the sum of a power series via a differential equation. Right, so um, anyway, so here is how term-by-term -term differentiation works for the second time, and here is how we can apply this. Um, so let me do part A here. So in this case, my f of x is uh, 1 divided by 1 minus x, right? So my... Um, uh, so its power series is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the 4 plus and so on. Now, what is f prime of x? So f prime of x, which is really just uh, 1 over 1 minus x squared. All right. So now I've, I've got to differentiate this power series term by term. So the derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of x is, is 1. Derivative of x squared is 2x plus 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus 5x to the 4 and so on, right? So every time I uh, multiply um, x raised to some power with um, that power plus 1, right? So I can rewrite it as the sum from 0 to infinity of n plus 1 raised to the power, well, times x raised to the power n. Right, so this is f prime of x. Okay, so find, uh, that, that was the solution, the answer to part A. In part B, we need to find a power series for this function. But notice that the, the, this function is, is actually just the second derivative of f of x. Well, almost, yeah. So uh, if you find the second derivative, f double prime of x, so which means that you need to differentiate this, is going to be 2 divided by 1 minus x uh, cubed, right? Yeah, it should be negative 2, and there is negative 1 here, so it's just 2, yeah. And to differentiate, to find the derivative, we need to differentiate the power series for f prime of x, right? So, and this is going to be, uh, the derivative of 1 is, of course, just 0. So plus 2 plus 3 times 2x plus 4 times 3x squared plus 5 times 4x cubed and so on, right? So, and this is the sum from 0 to infinity of what? n plus 1 times n plus 2 times x raised to the power n. So this is f double prime of x, which is uh, essentially what we want, only times 2, right? So uh, power series for this function, 1 over 1 minus x cube is 1 half of that. So 1 half of, of this, uh, the sum from 0 to infinity of n plus 2 times n plus 1 times x to the end. All right, so here is the answer to part B. All right, and th this is uh, the same thing. So, so I will just skip it. So th this is what it looks like in specific numbers. And uh, that's all about differentiating a power series term by term.